In this tutorial, I will show you how to install NetBeans 17 with uh, Java 19. Then uh, quickly demonstrate how to use it with uh, Java FX 19 as well. So as you can see, I have a version 19.0.2 of uh, JDK already installed. Make sure you have uh, JDK on your laptop or desktop. Let's download Apache NetBeans 17. That was released a few days ago. About two minutes to download. Double click to install. Okay, install anyway on Windows 11. Next. I upset the thumbs. Next. That's uh, what we have JDK 19, and that's what, where we are going to install NetBeans 17. I will uncheck it because I just downloaded the latest version of uh, NetBeans IDE 17. Finish. Okay, I used to have uh, NetBeans 16, so I will not import it. Just say no. Okay, start the page. I will turn it off. Let me create a new Java application project with uh, end. Activating Java IC. I will use the default project name, create the main class, that's fine. So Java application 55 comes with a simple Java source code. Going to be same name as a uh, project name 55. As you can see, I'm using NetBeans 17 with uh, Java 19.0.2 on Windows 11. So let's say SR, tab key, hello world. Let me compile and run it. So hello world on console. That's how you can create a Java hello world program. Next one I'm going to go ahead with uh, JavaFX uh, project. At the moment we need to activate JavaFX support for NetBeans. So let's say JavaFX, JavaFX FXML application. Next. So this is the purpose uh, we will download and then activate JavaFX support. Install. You won't be able to create a JavaFX project with uh, NetBeans because NetBeans and build does not support anything higher than uh, JDK 11 at this point. Activating JavaFX 2. Okay, JavaFX platform, uh, it won't support anything higher than 11, so just cancel. At least you can, you have uh, activate JavaFX support with NetBeans 17. We can go around it. So here, other. We can go to JavaFX. You can create an empty FXML. I will use it as it is. Next. Normally, you have a Java controller. And then uh, CSS. 
I will create a main class later on. Main class that uh, run JavaFX project. Okay, in this project uh, is actually Java project, so you need to uh, convert. Okay, we call it as a deployment. So Java SE projects can be switched to JavaFX deployment model. Basically, we are uh, switching JavaFX project to JavaFX deployment model. Okay, we are going to create a new application class, modify project. Okay, we will uh, convert. So, that's it. Now we can go to uh, libraries. We can add uh, JavaFX library files. In my case, it's on the Java DB directory. Uh, I have a JavaFX DK19. Select them all. So now I, I add a JavaFX Java file to NetBeans project. Now Java application 55 recognize Java FX libraries. Packaging you had to turn off a uh, build jar because NetBean doesn't support uh, Java FX 11 or higher. So let me just turn off. When you try to um, run this project, you won't be able to do so. Okay, so here you go to run. You may need to use uh, VM options to tell your pro project. Uh, your project needs to launch uh, this application with the uh, external library of uh, JavaFX. Copy that directory, paste it. In that pass, I'm using two modules, JavaFX controls without space, JavaFX and FXML. OK, make sure you don't leave any space between modules. Now, as you can see, this is all Java main class. You need a Java FX main class to run this project. So let's go to Java FX, Java FX main class. I will rename it as uh, FX main. Finish. That's a sample. So when you run it, it will launch uh, its own applications. When you click it, it will show you a uh, hello world. That didn't actually use FXML and CSS, but that's the idea of using uh, NetBean 17 with uh, Java 19 and then Java FX 19. You may need to convert Java project to Java FX project, then you can deploy with uh, external Java FX library. That's all. Thank you.